I'm Joe Torrey, and this is Baseball Talk. Today we'll talk baseball with Brett Saberhagen. In 1982, Brett made Los Angeles prep sports history when he tossed a no-hitter to clinch the championship for Cleveland High School at Dodger Stadium. I didn't know if I was ever going to get a chance to play there or not, and when it came true, I wanted to make the best of it. Uh, throwing a no-hitter was uh, the farthest thing from my mind. I think everybody was just going out there and, and enjoying the, the moment while it lasted. Uh, you know, everybody had dreams of becoming a big league ball player. Three years later, Brett pitched the title game of a different kind as he started Game 7 of the World Series. Most butterflies I think I've ever had. I was extremely nervous. Uh, I think the nervousness went away once I got out on the mound and started pitching. And everything kind of, you know, went its own way and uh, just it, things happened uh, naturally. Uh, I think the ability takes over and you forget about what's going on around you. But prior to the game, I was thinking about uh, losing uh, the World Series. It's kind of riding on my shoulders. I've won, won 20 games in 1985. Uh, if I don't win this one, that 20 games is going to seem like only like about 10 games. And uh, I just so much was riding on my shoulders. And I think once the game started, I was able to relax. But prior to the game, I was going crazy. The World Series win ended an unbelievable 36 hours for Brett because the day before he became a father. A dream come true, 1985 altogether. Uh, World Series, Cy Young Award, and uh, the birth of my first baby, Drew William. Uh, Prior to game six uh, that morning, uh, and knowing the next day that if we get a chance, it's going to be game number seven and I'm going to pitch it, uh, it just uh, highlighted a, a tremendous 80, 80, 85 season for me, and uh, I think that would definitely be the highlight of 1985. Thanks, Brett. For Baseball Talk, I'm Joe Torrey.